everybody welcome back to plant mamacita so today is going to be kind of a simple video but also kind of some advice to you guys it is probably going to be a fast short video but i did kind of want to film me doing this because i am actually needing a refill on some of my neem oil solution spray that i make or I don't make everything, but like my mix that I do. I know a lot of people do it on YouTube. I'm not saying it's just me that does it, but it is kind of a popular mix for a reason because it literally works. It does kill all pests and bugs and prevents them from forming on your house plants or even your garden plants. So you can spray it indoors or outdoors, which is awesome. And it is all organic. So I think that's amazing and it is something that I feel like everyone should know about even though this is probably going to be a repetitive video but i still want to say and vouch and tag along with everyone else that does this shout out to everybody because you're awesome for teaching me to do this and i also want to get my opinion out there as well so pretty much what we're doing today is making a neem oil solution, pretty much a spray that you spray on your plants, whether it be indoors or outdoors. Like I said, you pretty much just spray all your plants, the soil, and all the leaves under and over, and it pretty much prevents and gets rid of pests if you are struggling with any sort of pests like mealybugs, fungus gnats, um, what else, scale, um... I don't know, like all those other like things, I'll probably put a list right here next to me. And pretty much this will, will get rid of all of those annoying fellers out there. So yeah, and it does it all organically. So it, you are not using any chemicals that can harm your plants. And that is why I really love using this because you can literally spray it on your plants as many times as you want, as often as you want, it doesn't really matter. When I had only a little bit of plants, I would do it once a week. Now that I have accumulated a jungle in my room, I pretty much at least do it once a month. I also have a tip that I do have a very diluted version of this solution in one of my daily misters that I have around my room. I do fill one up with just water and that will go like on all my tropicals and water loving plants and i'll mist it and then this one i will fill up with a very very diluted because it does have a scent um it's not bad i don't really mind the scent but some people really don't like the scent of it all it really smells like is kind of garlic with citrus i don't know like asian food <laughs> should i say i shouldn't say that. but it smells not that bad like i enjoy it you know but um yeah so i do have it in the this one like a diluted form and every day i just go around my plants that are water loving plants like i said and i just miss them and they get their daily dose of neem oil so they're pest free and mama's happy so pretty much what i do is this is the one that i this bottle right here got it from the dollar store but it is i think four quarts or something like that I think which is probably half a gallon but pretty much what I do is when it's running low y'all can see it's pretty low I just get my neem oil right here I got this at Home Depot um, I don't know if all Home Depots carry this brand or this actual product but um, that's where I got it Hopefully y'all can find it because it is a lot cheaper. I have purchased neem oil from my local gardens, nurseries, and they are quite expensive. They really do tag up the price. So I'm glad that my Home Depot carries this because it is half the price. It is probably like $7. I forgot. But it's lasted me a year. But yeah, so it literally, I've had this for a whole year and that's how much I used. Like you see it? That's the liquid right here. Yeah, so it is a really good investment for this. And then I do mix it with some all organic soap. It is a body soap, I believe. It's Dr. Bronner's. It's in the unscented um, one of this soap. They do have a bunch. I do highly recommend because it, all their scents are natural and they smell awesome. But this one is unscented just because I didn't want to make the scents clash too much. So pretty much I just open this thing. 
You open your neem oil. Open your neem oil. <laughs> and pretty much what I do is just fill the cap up like, oh, that's too much. Ah, like halfway. Perfect. <laughs> I fill up the cap halfway full. And then I just pour it in here. And then you grab your soap, pop it open, and I do about 10 drops of this. One, two, three. You kind of want to go for like a teaspoon amount of soap and neem oil. And then after that, you fill this up with water, and then you shake it up, and it's pretty much done. So let me go fill it up with water, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is all full. I do use filtered water because it is a little bit more gentle on plants. Um, some of my plants can't handle the minerals in my Texas water, you know. It's a little harsh, you know, but we deal with it. We deal with it. So does my hair. It's annoying. Anyways, I'm talking about plants. <laughs> so then we just shake it up. And make sure it's closed tightly so you don't splatter everything. But you just shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now that our solution is all mixed up, it is ready to use. It pretty much just looks milky-ish, you know. It doesn't look like regular clear water just because the soap and the neem oil do mix in there. And it does cause it to have that color. It's completely normal. If it's a little bit dark, that just means you put more neem oil, which is not that bad, in my opinion. I've kind of used a lot and then I use too little. And then just find that in between. It doesn't really do much different, you know. Like, you can use as much as you want, in my opinion. My humble opinion. I'm not all aware if it does damage if you do put too much but I think more the better you know it just kind of it doesn't smell as strong I guess like if you don't use a lot that's the only difference I see and, but yeah all right and so pretty much you just go ahead and you put your plants in your bathtub you put them outside you could do it in your room just spray them down make sure you do the tops and bottoms of the leaves i did recently purchase a couple plants the other day y'all probably saw the video i hope did you see the video did you subscribe are you here for the next one because if not then my feelings are hurt <sighs> anyways yeah so i did buy these plants in my last video i did get this pothos and this little baby and i'm very excited that they're part of my plant fam so yeah pretty much i'm just gonna probably put them in the tub and then i'm gonna spray their leaves down you're gonna want to spray that soil down as well because you don't know if they have fungus gnats but you don't want to know at the same time so you just spray you all the base of the plant where the soil is get in there it's not gonna hurt it at all trust me it won't hurt the roots that's why we love this no chemicals it won't burn nothing and then you also want to spray all the foliage all the leaves front and back because pests tend to hide on the bottom of the leaves and the stems and the little crevices right here you know where like the leaves connect to the stem make sure you get those areas too and that's pretty much that I'm pr probably going to also make a little solution for this one. It's going to be very, very, very diluted. And that's pretty much that. Alright, so that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it was informative to somebody out there. If y'all didn't know about this solution already, highly recommend. I really hope you use it in the future. If you are a houseplant owner or mama or daddy, whatever. But... Yeah, so that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big like. Just sh show some support to some plant mamacitas out there. Or papacitos. Hey, you just made that up. But yeah, so I guess subscribe for more plant content. Because they're going to be coming a lot more. And I'm very excited. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. So, bye!